When all of your flaws and all of my flaws are laid out one by one. Hello, today I will be teaching you how to make this. I call it the centipede bracelet. The eyes are very optional and you can use whatever colors you want. Okay, for this bracelet, as all others, you will start with the red arrow pointing away from you. You will take your white bands first and you will start from the middle and go to the right. Then you will go from the middle to the left. Then you go from your right to the middle and from the middle to the left. And you will keep repeating this from the middle to the right, from the middle to the left, from the right to the middle, and the middle to the left. You will do this all the way until this pin, but if you have a shorter wrist, you'll want to do it to this pin so that there is less on there and it'll be a bit shorter for you. So from the middle to the right, middle to the left, right to the middle, and then middle to the left. Remember to do it in that order or else it will mess up the bracelet. We will now skip to the end so that you won't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, now we are going to take our yellow bands, and I have a smaller wrist, so I went only went to this pin. So for the smaller, you will only need 11 yellow bands, but for the larger, you will need 12. So you will take the yellow bands, and you will place them across each one like this for each one of your um, rhombuses. And you'll do that all the way through till the end of where you have decided to go. Remember, you can edit how long you want it, and you can use any color that you would like. Okay, so now it is time for us to do the leap. Looping. So we are going to turn it around, and grab our stick, and we start here. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to take one more white band, and we are going to twist it once upon itself so that there are two loops, and you put it on the last one as a capping band. So first, you go through the capping band, you push back, and you grab the top band, and you turn, pull it over to the right, and then you go through and grab the left one, and pull it over to the left, and then you go down through the right one, and you pull it to the middle and down through the left one and pull it through the middle. And you keep doing that so you go down through the middle. Sometimes it's a bit tricky. You pull the top band over to the right and you go down through and turn in the bottom band over to the left. Go through, grab the bottom white band, pull it to the middle, and grab the bottom white band. And you go through again and take the top band and you pull it over to the right, take the bottom band over to the left, take the bottom white band on the right, pull it to the center, bottom white band on the left, 
and pull it over to the center. You're going to do this all the way to the last pin. We'll skip now so that you don't have to watch this. Okay, next you're going to stick your hook through the middle of all of the bands like this. You're going to take your white band and you're going to pull it through and tie a quick knot so that it stays. Now you are ready to pull it off. It's easier to grab the bottom and pull up. This is what it's look like when, what it looks like when you pull it off. For me, I like to take this part, grab a rubber band and also tie a quick knot just so that there is only one band for your S clip or C clip or whatever it is that you want to use. So oh, you may want to adjust the legs so that they are or the way that you want them. So you can do that. Now if you want to put the eyes on, how I do it is I will take two black bands. I will take one and squeeze it like this. And then wrap the other one around it quite a few times so that there is a lot of layers around it. I would say do it about six, seven, maybe even eight times. So when you finish wrapping it around, it should look like this. Now you want to set that aside for just a moment. You want to take this. Not the cap side, but this side with, that's the very top. You want to separate it into about two equal parts. And you want to stick your hook right through the middle. You want to grab onto this and pull through on both sides. Now we're going to skip that and then show you what it'll look like. So you pull it through like that and you want to make sure that it'll stay but you're going to have to let go real quick. Now you're going to stick your hook through again one more time. Grab onto this one and you're going to pull it through also. We're going to skip this part so you don't have to watch it. So you have finished looping through like that. The front should look like this and the back should look like that. You want to put them on your loom like this. And then again, you want to tie that knot. And since it is in the, and it'll look like this, and since it's in the back, it will be kind of easy to fall out and it will, will be sticking in the back. So you would, you want to pull it over this white part so that it looks like this. And you can eat, adjust the eyes. So there's a black spot right there, and there's the knot back there, and there's your eyes. And that is your centipede bracelet. Remember, you want to make this as long as your wrist. You can make it however big you want. You can use any colors. You can even use more than just the two colors. I'd like to just keep it simple with the two colors. And you do not have to do the eyes. And remember, watch this video and try, try again. Also, very importantly, remember to tell your friends to watch this video.